Okay, everybody. We're working through the Math 31 limits review. This is question 1n. Uh, we're taking the limit as x approaches 1 of the absolute value of x minus 1 over x minus 1. Well, if you plug 1 in, the absolute value is going to go to 0. The denominator is going to go to 0. So this, this is going to be the indeterminate form. Uh, to figure this out, what we got to do here is use what we know about absolute values and create a piecewise function to apply to this. Okay? So now, the absolute value of x minus 1 will simply be x minus 1 over x minus 1. That'll be true. Now just think about this. x minus 1 is going to go to 0 when x equals 1. But as, as long as we're 1 or greater, this will be positive. So this won't have any issues here as long as x is greater than or equal to 1. Now, if x is less than or equal to, or sorry, less than 1, then I have to include the negative. And so this will be true if x is less than 1. Okay? So I, all I've done, and this is, should be reviewed for Math 20, is all I've done is converted that, that absolute value of x minus 1 into a piecewise function, identified the intervals where those are, definitions occur, and, and notice that I'm including the 1 with the, f oh, sorry. And I'm being a little foolish here. Sorry, I was including the 1 here because I was focused on the absolute value. But the truth is, you can't equal 1 anyway. Because 1 would lead this thing to be undefined. So I have to exclude the one. I can't actually include it here. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. A limit can still exist even if the function doesn't exist there. And in this case, it won't exist at one. But this will equal the limit as x approaches one of, and this is quite interesting because x minus one over x minus one is going to be simply one if x is greater than one. And then I have got negative x minus one over x minus one is negative one if x is less than one. Now, in this case, notice that the limit, okay, note in this case that the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of my function does not equal the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of my function. Therefore, ah, sorry about that, therefore the limit, okay, sorry, I should say it like this, I'm running out of room here, uh, but the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x, I'm just going to use this for my function, okay, does not exist. Okay, I, they need to be the same from the left and the right. And in this case, you can see quite clearly that they're not. So it does not exist.